Welcome to the second edition of What's Cooking. I'm Enrico Reed and today I'll be making a Butterfinger cake. It's a very rich dessert with a very moist flavor. The ingredients that you'll need are Dose Food Cake Mix, one bottle of cooking oil, three eggs, one pack of Butterfinger candy, You'll need one cup of water and a half cup of olive oil, whipped cream, and Eagle Brand milk. Alright, let's get started. First, you want to just mix all your ingredients into one big mixing bowl. There's no specific way that you have to mix the ingredients into the bowl because it's all going to come out the same way. Got your three eggs right here. I already pre-did that for you guys. Got your water, one cup of water. A half a cup of cooking oil. And now you're ready to mix all your ingredients together. You want to mix it all together until you don't see no more big chunks of the powdered cake mix. Now we're going to take you guys over here so we can mix it with the blender. Alright, you only want to mix it for about two minutes, just the way it can get all those pieces that you missed when you was mixing with the spoon. Now, you want to pre-oil your pan, that way your cake doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. You don't have to use that much because the oil will spread itself. I've already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. That way your oven will already be hot and ready to go. You want to make sure you can get out as much cake mix as you can. That way you'll have a nice looking cake. And if you want to, you can. You don't even have to use the dark kind of cake mix. You can use a lighter kind if you like. If chocolate really isn't your flavor. All right, now you just want to move the cake around throughout the bottom of the pan. That way it can spread evenly. Well, guys, we're almost done making this delicious cake. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. Southside High School. From performing a Shakespearean play in front of a crowd of up to a thousand. To conducting experiments in the lab. Winning a state championship. While reading and exhilarating novels. Fixing your flat tire. And making test scores out of this world. From producing a weekly TV show. To fulfilling duties to our country. In fulfilling our duties to you. Southside. 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 Oh. The sky is never the limit. When you don't study for the ACT, you receive a low score. 
When you receive a low score, you punch the wall in anger. When you punch the wall in anger, your little brother repeats your actions to gain your approval. When your little brother tries to gain your approval, the sophomores misread his actions as a challenge. When the sophomores misread his actions as a challenge, your little brother ends up on the nurse's table. Don't let your little brother end up on the nurse's table with internal bruises and a black eye. Study for the ACT. Welcome back, guys, to What's Cooking. Um, while you guys were gone, I let the cake cook for about 25 minutes, and it's already went through the cooling process. Now we're ready to move on to the next step. Now you want to put a few holes in the top of your cake. That way, when you pour the Eagle Brand milk on the top of it, it gives the Eagle Brand milk enough room to seep down through the cake to give it that moist flavor that we're looking for. A little messy there. <laughs> now you want to take your... <laughs> now you want to take your Eagle Brand milk and you want to pour it over the top of the cake. Next, you want to take your whipped cream, and you want to put it on top of the Eagle Brand milk. And you can use all of the whipped cream if you would like, but it just depends on the person. And all the ingredients that I used today, you can get it at your local um, grocery store. Or as I did, I just went on down the street to Kroger's. <laughs> Guys, this is going to be good. I don't know about you, but me and my crew, we're going we gonna to tear into this cake once we're done today. And see, you don't even have to use all of it. Last step. Now you want to take your Butterfinger candy and you want to spread it evenly over the cake. This is just one pack of Butterfinger candy. If you like to, you can use more. But it really only takes one pack. Well, guys, that's all there is to making this delicious dessert. Remember, I'm Enrico Reed, and there's no sincere love than the love of food. See you next week.